businesses of all sizes and the people who work for these businesses. Now, what's business like for visual artists? These days, when you say artists, most Nigerians think singers. But let's not forget that for most of history, that word has first and foremost been used for visual artists like painters and illustrators. Which brings me to our business hard fact for today. According to Jobberman, the creative industries employs 4.2 million Nigerians. The creative industries employs 4.2 million Nigerians. Now, when they say creative industries, it's a very mixed bag. It includes media, entertainment, beauty and lifestyle, tourism and hospitality, and the visual arts. And my guest today belongs to that last category. I know him because he created some amazing artwork for me. I saw a quote online that I really, really loved. And I asked my followers on Twitter whether someone could turn that into a painting or other artwork for me. And he stepped up and he did something amazing. David Adiatu, thank you so much uh, for joining us on Balogun and Broad today. Welcome to Hard Facts. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, Lagos, as we go along, if you have questions about the business of visual arts, go, has, go ahead and give us a call. You know the numbers, 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. Do you have a phone there? Because I can hear it inter interfering. So just like move it away from the mic. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Like, no, put it away. I can still hear it, like, interfering with the mic. Okay. That's perfect. Great. Okay. So, um, let's talk about when you first realized that you had talent for art. Lagos, if you're watching our live stream right now, I'm showing you picture after picture, video after video of uh, David's work. Our, our live stream is Nigeria Info 99.3. That's Facebook, YouTube, Nigeria Info FM. You're seeing all of the work that he has done. When did you first realize that you had the talent for art, David? I realized this when I was very young. Uh, How young were you? Okay, uh, probably at the age of six. Six? Yeah, I started with uh, pencil drawings, you okay. know, out King's Cup bit then. Okay. So that's how I started. Mm -hmm. So. That's how you started? Yes, Wait. I started with pencil artwork. Did you, did you get encouragement from your family? Did people say, what are you doing? Face your studies. Or did they say, oh, that's really nice and buy you more pencils? Well, just as it used to be, some people will encourage me. But the fact is, my parents, they're happy that I have a good talent. Okay. But they kind of stopped me from doing the drawings. Why? Because I was going low academically then. Okay. All my notebooks in school, I do have You were just drawing inside. On okay. In fact, so the fact that even in school, uh, in my uh, my senior classes, the teachers, mm. they would call me from my class mm. to come and draw for them. Oh. Because I was that good. Okay. So, so... But still, I, I never get tired of it, even though my parents try to stop me from it. Okay. Because it's a talent, it's imbued. Inside so. of you. Why did they try to stop you? Because you were not doing well well with school. Yes. Did you stop? I didn't stop. In fact, <laughs> in fact it is then, it now gets more, I now get more serious. Okay. I get more engaged in the drawing work. So this time around, I do hide it from them. Okay. Maybe my bedrooms. Okay. So when they're not around, I do my drawings. Okay. But when they're back, I keep it you, around. You, you pretend that like you're not drawing anymore. Exactly. Did your grades get better? Did, did school get better? Or did you keep doing poorly in school? I, I, I did my best because I know that's the reason why uh, they stopped me from drawing because I was it was affecting my grade yeah. in school. Mm -hmm. So I tried to get more serious with school. With my, with school. Mm -hmm. So it got better. Okay. Really. So, so they had no idea that I was still doing That you were still doing the painting. <laughs> How long ago did you decide, okay, this is what I want to do? you know, to and use to earn a living. Let me not even make any assumptions. Is this how you earn a living? Is this what you do to earn a living? Yes, I have a lot of uh, skill. Okay. I'm a land surveyor. Okay. But this uh, string is what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what I really based on. It's just like my number one mm. business. Oh, I see. Yes. So when did you decide, okay, I'm going to, this is, this is going to be, I'm going to face art as a way to earn a living. How long ago did you decide to do it? Okay. Uh, this started 
in this lockdown of a thing. Mm-hmm. I've started this string art when I uh, noticed I have the talent. Mm-hmm. I've been doing it for some time. Oh, but lo- I d- during lockdown? Yes. No, I'm talking art in general, not the string art but it's specifically. We'll come okay. to, to string art, but I'm talking like art in general because before you graduated to string art yes. and you're going to explain what string art, string okay. art is because okay. all of us are not artists. We yeah, don't know sure. what you're talking about. Right. Yeah, but before you got there, you were doing art, um, you know, and selling it. Were you selling it? How the fact is, I've never spoken any of my artwork before. It's, it's part from string art. You, okay, so so the the first uh, piece of your art that you made money from is your string art. Yes. Interesting. I do drawings and gift it to people. Mm. Yeah, then you were the just, drawing, you were just dashing it. people. Yes, yes, that's what I do. I then. see. But then when you started making string art, you then started selling that one. Even when I started string art, I still dash some people. Yeah. And after some time, I decided to make it as a business. I see. Now, and you say you started in 2020? Yes, yes. What made you decide to start? Okay, you know, this uh, lockdown everything has really taught me a lot. You know, it made me to think well of which other way to escape this issue of uh, 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 financial issues. You know, during lockdown, there was no job for many people. Why somewhere working remotely? But mm. still, I don't. Wa- I work with a company mm. then, but I have to. It's affected me because. My work had to do with going out to people to meet them. Mm. And if I don't meet them, I may not have any income. Mm. So I have no other choice just to find another way out. Find something else to do. And so you taught yourself string art. Uh, Yes, let me say that. Because it's it's a talent. Tell us us what string art is. Okay, string art is... uh, And Lagos, don't forget, I'm showing you uh, pictures of his work and videos of his work. Check our live stream out. Nigeria Info 99.3 on Facebook. YouTube Nigeria Info FM. Yes. So string art is an artwork, a medium of nails and wool, just nail and wool. You about call it isho. Okay. Uh-huh. So the wool is wool. So just using nails and wool to make artworks. You can use to make portraits. It can be abstract. It can be write ups. Mm. It can be logo and anything. So the nail you're talking about is nail that carpenters use to knack inside wood. But okay. About that. Uh, nail is nail, mm-hmm. but we have them in different sizes. Uh-huh. So this one I use, they are very, very small. So the tiniest piece The tiniest of one, and they are imported. Okay. So I, I hardly get them around just in regular shops, no. Okay. So I do have some people, some places I buy them, mm-hmm. but they order it online okay. before I can buy it okay. from them. And then the wool that you're using is the wool that in secondary school, maybe home economics, we're using to make sweater and... Make socks and things like that. Is that the wool? Okay, it looks like that, but mm. it's more stronger than that. Okay. It's more stronger because if it's not strong, mm. the artwork will not last long. Mm. So Now, you should see the one he made for me. It's really, really nice. I think I put it on my Instagram. If you, if you check out my Instagram, you'll probably see the one he made for me. Uh, my Instagram is S as a question. But um, if you can't get to Instagram right now, just log on to our live stream. You see the pieces of art um, that he has worked on. And you taught yourself how to do this? Yes. During the lockdown? Yes. How long did it take to teach yourself how to do this? Okay, about that, you know, stringer, I didn't start string art okay. during lockdown, but I started to make it as a business during, lock- during lockdown. I see. Okay, so when did you teach yourself string art? Okay, uh, back in 2006, I, I noticed I have this talent. Then I used to go out to my dad to work. You know, my dad is a carpenter. Okay. So I have access to nails and hammer. So using that to, like, using, uh, doing like a kind of play stuff like that mm. but because i have the hard talent and i try to use this nail to make some drawings on mm. board mm. on wood in particular mm. so at first i started with nails ordinary mm. nails and it do bring some pictures some image to me mm. but i don't know because of the talent mm. i never know how this comes to my mind of mm. thinking of using wool mm-hmm. to make it out so i do make some nails mm-hmm. and use wool to bring the main image that I want mm. out from it. Out from it. So you could just they just they say just the reason. How go take rearrange this now? Okay, my ma- rearrange them. Oh, this thing makes sense. Okay, we can add this one. Man, see whether it will make sense. Exactly. Then you add it and then it makes sense. Like, oh, more right. arts don't come out with that too. You're right. <laughs> okay. Now, um, natural talent is not enough. Um, you have had to spend time and effort. Sure refining your talent into the skill that you have now how long did it take you to build yourself up to professional level okay uh although i at least like i said earlier i started this as a business when uh during the lockdown 2020 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but i've been taking it more serious you know i do it for people as a gift okay i do some write-ups mm-hmm. for people as a gift mm-hmm. then 
that was before the lockdown. Then mm-hmm. I have the time to do this artwork. But it, I wasn't uh, uh, consistent in it then. Okay. So just for some time, I was stopped because I have a job I was doing then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, but during that one and 20, I try to take it serious. I do more research. Mm. So I go on YouTube to do more research. Mm-hmm. If I'd, before, I thought maybe I was the only one who was doing this string art of a thing. Mm. But when I checked YouTube, I saw a lot of artists doing string art, mm. even different kind, mm. more better than mine. Mm. So, but I try to make myself my own difference. Okay. So if you check my page, you see I have this kind of uh, uh, silhouette string art. What's your page? Okay. Afishodara. Afishodara. How yes. do you spell that? A F I S H O D A R A. Mm-hmm. Afishodara. Okay. So if you check my page, you see my artwork is. Your page where? Because it's uh, on Instagram. Uh-huh. On Instagram. Although uh-huh. I'm on Twitter too, but my Instagram is more active. That's okay. what I use mostly. Uh-huh. So uh, I have this, uh, what I call silhouette. What is called silhouette? Mm-hmm. That's what I use mostly for my portraits. Mm-hmm. Because with silhouettes, uh, there's some way you can do printing for silhouette too. But this is just a normal printing. So silhouette is just like when you're sketching now the the, uh, the shadow part of an image mm. out, but still to give you the resemblance of that same image, mm. do, but not a detailed picture. Okay. So but you see, give you the same resemblance. Okay. Just like what I did for you. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. Okay. Um, talk to me about so so. Would you say that that's your artistic style? Yes, yes. That's your style? Yes. To focus on silhouettes? Yes, I, I do write-ups too. But okay. when it comes to portraits, mm. when it comes to people's picture, image, mm. I do silhouettes. How, how did you, why did you choose that instead of you know, doing like the full thing, for instance? How did you um, focus on this specific medium? Okay, silhouette, it's, you know, it's, it looks like, it looks abstractic mm. at the end of the work. Mm-hmm. And this silhouette is not common. Mm-hmm. I'll say I haven't really found any other person doing it apart from just one person I know in Lagos here okay. too. So uh, I try to make it different because I have to be unique in my own style. Okay. If you check online on YouTube, you'll see different kind of uh, string art. Some do so like kind of uh, a detailed image, mm-hmm. detailed portrait. Mm-hmm. But I just want it to be different. Mm-hmm. So when you're looking for a silhouette string artist, mm-hmm. you can mention Abishodara. <laughs> uh-huh. It's interesting that you uh, you've mentioned YouTube several times. Before you joined us, uh, I was having a conversation about um, uh, cooking and learning how to cook on YouTube. You can learn so much on the internet nowadays. Sure. You know, um, like th- there's not there's really nothing you want to learn that you will not learn on YouTube. If you, if you're not using it you are you're really uh, do yourself doing yourself a disservice youtube should pay me for that advert <laughs> so how do you publicize yourself what platforms do you use for promotion okay should i talk about how i even started publicizing myself yes please okay uh during this lockdown i think uh after, was it, bef- okay, before the lockdown, mm-hmm. BBC Yoruba mm. had an interview with them. They came to my place where I, where I stayed in Ogun State. Okay. So they did an interview for me. Mm. It was a, a video section. They, I did some work in their present. Mm-hmm. So they put it out to the net. Mm. So I got people from there that time. But mm. then I haven't really make it as my business. Mm. So, but I was thinking, how, what, uh, which other way can I do that? Mm. I don't really know much people. Mm. And this, when it comes to hard work in this part of the country, people don't really pay for it. Yeah, they love it. Chop first, that is important. <laughs> You're right. We are poor. We need to eat first <laughs> before we do hard work. Exactly. They, they love it, but they, can't, they, don't, they don't have the money mm. to, to purchase it. Mm. So what I do is that I, I try to... Um, uh, so what you did with uh, public, well, publicizing okay. after BBC Europe? Right? Yeah, thank you. So about the public, uh, publicity... I try to think about celebrities. Okay. You know, celebrities today, they, they have brought a lot of people out to the world. People mm. know them because celebrity posted about them, mm. talked about them. Mm. So I was like, I can use this kind of way to, to bring myself out to mm. the world. Okay. So I make artwork for celebrities. Okay. I hope I can mention celebrities' name. Yes, of okay. course. The first one I made was for Naira Mali then. Okay. You know, uh, during this, after the lockdown was lifted, mm. I was able to take it to him okay. through a connection of a friend. Mm-hmm. I took it to him then and he, he welcomed me so well mm. and really appreciate what I did. Mm-hmm. Immediately, immediately that day, before I left his place, mm. 
he posted on his uh, uh, on his social media, social media, mm-hmm. on Instagram mm-hmm. that day, mm-hmm. on his story, not even on his page, mm. but just on his story. Come see the traffic. People started messaging me till my phone died off that day. Aww. My battery went flat because of messages. Yeah, I was so inspired. I was so happy that this thing can work this way. Okay. So, but now the money hasn't come. Mm-hmm. When I got to my try to charge my phone and I re- replied back the messages, mm-hmm. people paid me. They haven't met me before. Mm. They paid money and I made the auto for them. Some in those states, mm-hmm. some different states like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this is really working. Maybe now, I should okay, do this as a full-time this, business. This, this, this is not be the first <laughs> celebrity. So I think of other celebrities too. Okay. There are a lot of them I've done it for today. Okay, like who else? Okay, I make auto for Don Jazzy. I made for David Doe. Mm. I made for... So the Mavings one that, that um, you, you sent to me, was that okay. part of what you made for, yes. for Don yes. Jazzy? In fact, if you're watching our live stream, you're seeing a picture of the Mavings one I'm talking about. If I had one of Mavings, mm. I've not been able to present it to him. Oh, I see. Yes. Why not? He's in his office, but, uh, you know... It's not that easy to meet a celebrity. <laughs> Just have to be patient. Yeah. So I'm still working on how to meet him. Okay. Yeah. So, but I I was able to deliver one to his office mm-hmm. in VIA. The, mm-hmm. the portrait I made for him. Mm-hmm. And it snapped with it and posted it and tagged me. Mm-hmm. And really thanked me. Mm-hmm. So I made for David Doe, like I mentioned earlier. I made for Faust. Mm-hmm. Uh, I made for... If I like, there you are made for a number of people. Lot of them. If you're watching our live stream, you're seeing all the all, all of them. You're seeing all of it on our live stream, Nigeria Info, ninety nine point three on Facebook, Nigeria Info FM on YouTube. Now, um, so would you say that publicizing on Instagram is how you get the most of your your clients? You know, is that why you're more active on Instagram because that's where people know you the most on? Sincerely, yes, that's where. It. And it makes sense to be honest because you're doing visual work and yes. Instagram is all about you know visual exactly uh, uh, um, the visuals <laughs> really. Um, how many pieces do you sell in a month? Okay, you know. Uh, in months, it's varied. Okay. Some months, I mean. In a many, really good month, how many pieces okay, do you sell? Okay, in a good month. So this month, good man. How many pieces do you sell? Let me say three. Three pieces? Yes. That's a really good month. Wow. Is that high or is that low? That is low. It's low? Yes. In a really good month, you sell three and that's low? Yes. Wow. Why, why do you think, well, I mean, we talked about it before. People love it, they appreciate it, but they can't afford it. That is a fact. That is a problem. Okay. How many do you create in a month? Okay. Uh, in a month, uh, sometimes I create up to six. Okay. Eight. How long so, does it take to make one? Uh, let me go back to where I, when I started. Okay. When I started this string art, sometimes uh, work of 18 by 24 inches for people who understand uh, inches. For people that don't understand... Explain it to us. Okay. <laughs> it's radio. Uh, it's, it's audio. So explain it so we understand what you're saying okay. about Okay. Uh, okay. I think you, one has to use a calculator or a <laughs> converter to get that because I work with inches. Okay. Some use centimeter, but I use inches. Okay. So 18 by 24 inches. Mm-hmm. So uh, when I started, then I spent up to like two weeks mm. to make it. But believe me now, I can spend just two or three days mm. doing it. Two or three days. The same way, even more done. difficult than that. Oh, wow. Yes. Two to three days and you're done with one piece of art. Yes. Okay. And you create um, how many per month? Six to eight, depending yes. on the month. Sure, depending. Okay. Um, Lagos, by the way, if you have questions or you have something to say, we'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and give us a call. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7. 190. That's for women. WhatsApp is also available. WhatsApp is 080 959 75805. What's the biggest challenge you face in this business? Okay. The biggest. The biggest is, I think, what's affecting almost every entrepreneur mm. in this country mm. is how to get clients mm. that will be. Mm. You know, even sourcing materials for these artworks they're very expensive what makes up one artwork mm. is very expensive mm. but when people look at it it looks as if it's less expensive but mm. me that I do it I know you know how much you just spent on I it I make sure I use quality materials right so that when you have it in your house you can it's done for decades like forever yeah yeah so I have clients I've made it for before I call them I ask them Ah, is it? Uh, they don't even feel any changes mm. in it, and I'm very sure that's how it will remain. Mm. So 
if I go for inferior materials, they won't last long. Mm. So an artwork are meant to last forever. Forever, yeah, so they I'm are. Sure. So use, you know, using nail, nails they can rust, mm -hmm. but I have some kind of coating I use for my nails mm -hmm. that it won't make them rust. Okay. So even the wood, I uh, the wood, the boards I use too. Mm -hmm. Uh, termite can affect boards. That's right. But the board I use, uh, well, uh, and with the kind of material I use for them, mm -hmm. termite will never affect it. Because you treat it properly. Exactly. So it makes it very expensive. And you're based in Ogun State. So you came to the studio today from Ogun State, yes? Yes. yes. Mm, interesting stuff. All right, Lagos is calling. Let's talk to a number of people. 99.3, hello. Hello. Thanks for calling. What's your name, sir? Yeah, um, this is um, um, Felix. I'm calling from sir. Welcome. Go ahead. Um, I really appreciate uh, the artists on the studio. Please keep it up. Okay. Um, very much. Is there any way maybe we can have like a range of uh, what you charge? What is like? What's the range of price? You might not give us specific, but what's the range? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. What do you charge? What's your range? He wants to know. Okay. Uh, can we do it this way? Maybe when I put out my my uh, phone number, my WhatsApp number. Uh, I think you have my WhatsApp. Just um, give it out now. Uh, give okay. Out your WhatsApp number my, let right me now. give you my phone number. You can chat me up. We'll discuss about that. My WhatsApp number, and you can also make a call on it. It's 0703 950 9816. 0703 950 9816. And the other one is 0816 231 4927. 0816 231 4927. So you can call me or send me a WhatsApp message. Both lines are on WhatsApp. So you can also call too. Hmm. So we can discuss about that. Well, if you're watching our live stream, we're showing you uh, piece after piece after piece of uh, Afisho Dara's work. If you just tuned in, hello to you. We've got Afisho Dara on the show with us. Afisho Dara is a, a visual artist who focuses on string art. And he's told us that string art is made using nails and wool, a special kind of nail, special kind of wool. And piece, he pieces them together and he creates um, the um, artwork that you're currently taking a look at on our Facebook live stream. Our Facebook live stream is Nigeria Info 99.3. Uh, YouTube is Nigeria Info FM. He says he's been doing this since 2006, but he decided to uh, become serious about it as a business since um, 2020 during yes. the lockdown. Okay. Well, I have to ask you a final question. Now, there are people who are listening, right? And they're thinking about going into art like okay. you. They want this to be their career. How can they tell whether they have what it takes? Okay. In art in general, we have different mediums in art. We have sculptors, we have uh, pencil artists who use like charcoal pencil to make the art artworks. Mm. We have people for different kind of mediums. But one fact is, to discover the talent of art, you will notice when you, from your childhood. Mm. There are some kids that they love to make paintings, mm -hmm. just take crayons and paint anywhere in the house. Paint on the wall. Yes, <laughs> they can even paint their clothes. Yeah. So that happened before. Mm. I'm, before I started coming today, my my niece. In fact, he has to paint part of my clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the painting. So, because we noticed that that he has this talent mm. of art. He loves paint. Whenever you buy other things for him, other toys, he wouldn't want it. But when you bring crayons or paints, he will be happy with it. Mm. So that's a sign for a parent or for you yourself to mm. know. But now you are an adult. You want to know if you have the ability of drawing. Mm. Some people learn drawing. But believe me, if you want to learn how to draw mm -hmm. and you don't have the talent, mm -hmm. it can't be like you that have that intellectual ability. Mm. But you can do your best and know how to draw. Very sure. People go to school and learn drawing mm -hmm. and some are perfect in it. Mm -hmm. But when you have the talent, it makes you more better because you create different things on your own mm. because it's input. Or like when you learn it, you learn and you follow whatever your teacher taught you. Mm. But when you have the talent, you bring whatever you have inside you out 
Okay. So okay. So pay attention to what your interests are, and that's how you figure out um, if art is something that you want to do permanently. Thank you so much, uh, David, for joining us on the show today. David Adiatu uh, is a, a visual artist. Find him on social media, Afisho Da. Yes. That's his social media handle. Lagos will take a break. When we come back, let's talk about the price of bread. Uh, bakers say that they are on strike. They will be on strike for one week. What does that mean for you? I'm Sandra S. Uh, yeah, if someone bashes your car, we pay to get it fixed. Visit www.hezinsurance.com or call 0700 434 7764 to get the Hez Flexi Motor Plan. Hez Insurance, your simple, smart protection. Any channel where you want, we get them. Oh, yeah, watch. Maybe you want to watch the news, we get them. Oh, yeah, watch. I've been a series we defined, we get them. Oh, yeah, watch. In a spot of documentary, oh, yeah, watch no disappointing. Nollywood to Bollywood, oh, yeah, watch go put you in the mood. What your favorite is on your phone or your TV, oh, yeah, watch. All of my people make fun of watch, oh, yeah, watch. All of my people make fun of watch, oh, yeah, watch. Never miss a program with our 24 hours catch up, oh, yeah, watch. Watch on any device, anywhere, anytime, and anyhow. Download the Oya Watch app on all app stores to start watching all your favorite channels for just 1,000 Naira per month. Subscribe now and enjoy one month free. A performance of sheer class. Uncommon speed. Terrific strength. Uncommon power. And how good was that? Uncommon skill. Becomes the Commonwealth champion. Showmax Pro brings you the 22nd Commonwealth Games, where a common passion meets uncommon performance. Watch extraordinary athletes in action from the 28th of July to the 8th of August. Subscribe from only 3,200 direct per month to enjoy sports from super sports, series, movies, and more on Showmax.com. Lazis custard, na the best thing for take start my day. It's smooth wella and it tastes nakbangba. Mommy, Lazis custard, yeah, yum yum for my belly. You sabi say Lazis custard quantity, even plenty pass how much they cost? That na real value for money, oh. Yes, so. Now Lazis custard, all my friends, they rush go buy for market now, oh. Since I tell them about them. Now three different halele flavors Lazis custard get, oh. Vanilla, chocolate, and milk. Now correct wakis for my family. Make you choose Lazis custard with smooth wella and carry pangba taste. Lazis custard, the Ogbonge custard. Imagine a life with zero worries. Imagine a world with your relaxed and free. Where all your dreams become reality. The state financial will have zero worries when it's time to pay your bills, rent, school fees, and vacation. We'll be here making it easy for you. Visit our website www.pagefinancials.com or call 017007243. Page Financials taking you forward. Guy, we go win the next Premier League and I go watch them live. Uh, uh, watching it live, I beg it. That's expensive. <laughs> Not when you win an all expense paid trip in the Bet King preseason offer. TVs, phones, and betting credits are also up for grabs. That's at least 500 naira on any sports or Bet King virtual football league with a minimum of five selections and 3.75 odds per coupon to win from the weekly draw starting on the 16th of June to 31st July 2022. T and C apply. Visit betking.com to start winning. That feeling. That's bad game. Brother, what's in the happen? My consignment still never clear for port. I don't tire. So why you not tell me since? You suppose they on the go. Do they go the port? <laughs> Do you know that you can remotely clear and transport your cargo in Nigeria and track everything in real time? Go Agent connects importers with reliable clearing and transportation agents. No delay when it comes to clearing your goods. For more information, visit www.goagent.com.ng or call 070-0123-9595. Go Agent. You relax. We work it out. Have you been disconnected because you didn't link your national identification number to your MTN number? Don't worry. If you already have your NIN, here are five ways to reconnect. 1. Dial star 785 hash. 2. Text your national identification number NIN to 785. 3. Chat with Ziggy on WhatsApp number plus 234-9033-00001. 4. Visit my MTN NG app or 5. Visit www.mtn.ng. If you don't have a national identification number, just walk into any MTN store or NIMSI center near you or visit the MTN website to book an appointment. What are we doing today? This is not a typical bank ad where we only talk about zero balance and high interest rates. 
Picture this. Exclusive discounts at select stores. With the Keystone Pink card, this picture becomes a reality. That's not all. Picture a beautiful resort with its breathtaking Instagram-worthy scenery. The cool, gentle breeze on your face. The champagne bubbling in your glass as the sun illuminates your skin. With the new PTA BTA Visa card, living this dream is easier. Visit any Keystone branch nearest to you or download the Key Mobile app to get a pink card, MasterCard, Visa card, or Verb card. At Keystone Bank, there's a card for everyone, no matter where you are. Keystone Bank, we grow together. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. I'm Sandra Ezekwesile. This is Balogun and Broad on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Bakers across Nigeria have shut down operator, uh, operations over what they described as harsh operating conditions. I don't know if you remember, two weeks ago I spoke with the chairman of the Bakers Association here in Lagos and he did mention that they were going to um, take this strike action. They didn't do it last week. Uh, Wednesday. They were supposed to go last week Wednesday, but I guess they they have decided to do it today and it's going to last until next week. Uh, the bakers uh, say that at least 30% of bakeries in the country have closed shop. Um, when they were on the show with us, they told us that uh, diesel uh, was too expensive. They also mentioned that um, the cost of wheat uh, was one of the reasons that they had to close shop. Uh, they also told us that import duties were kicking their behinds, and that's why they've they've taken this action. They've tried to talk to government. Discussions with the government has not uh, yielded the results that they were hoping for. Um, they're accusing the government of extortion, of high tariffs, and they've simply said, you know what, we're just going to take a break. And uh, we're going to resume operations on the on the 26th of July, tw Tuesday, the 26th of July. And I want to know what you think about this, because already before this strike, bread <laughs> has already become a uh, uh, senku. We're back to a senku times. Uh, <laughs> bread was already a, a, you know, something for really rich people, you know. You, you know, some people are buying for seven hundred. Some people are buying for seven fifty. Some people are buying for eight fifty. Some people are buying one thousand now, uh, one thousand two hundred, depending on the kind of bread. Um, I don't know if there are some loaves that you can still buy for two fifty, three hundred, five hundred anymore. You're gonna tell me, you know. So now with this strike and with the potential increase in the price of bread that could follow their resumption. How you see this matter? How you see this situation? What are you substituting uh, for bread nowadays? What are you having for breakfast these days? Are you still, is bread still featuring uh, on your bre breakfast table or are you substituting bread for something else now? What are you feeding your children now? Did you used to feed them bread before? Do you even care that the bakers have gone on strike? Does it matter to you? Did you maybe used to eat akara? You know, and but akaram bread is also a delicacy. You know, we used to eat akaram bread together. Some people do. I don't because I'm not very adventurous like that. <laughs> but but for some people, you know, it's akaram bread. You know, uh, for some people, it's just akara. But even akara too, the price has gone up. You know, it's a, it's also expensive now. So what are you having for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast now? Are you having potatoes? Are you having beans? Do you even have breakfast? Zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. Men call us on that number. Women call us on zero one four six five seven one nine zero. Zero one four six five seven one nine zero. Now, before I take your calls and talk to you about this, uh, we've got information about Chipper to share with you. Yes. Yes, we do. Hello, Lagos. How are you doing this bright and chilled? Why pay fees for local transport? Okay, why spend money to send money? Why pay full price for airtime when you can just get it on cheaper at a discounted rate? I mean, why just pay for an item when you can get a whooping 5% cashback on that same item? 
when you shop with your super card locally and across borders. Yes, I'm telling you, the super app is available on App Store and Play Store. So why haven't you downloaded it yet? Yes, so you need to go on right now and download Chopa and enjoy no fees on local transfers. That's right, no fees. Instead of fees, you get 2% discount on airtime and 5% cashback when you shop with your Chopa Naira or dollar card. Get on with Chopa like right now. What Chopa needs to do is figure out a way to get bread to us. <laughs> Lagos, let's talk. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. You still they chop bread. What do they chop for money nowadays? What do they give your children chop for money nowadays? If you get children, if you be single, pringle. What do they chop for money? They chop for money before. I've been mean, uh, once a day, they chop. You know, just in the afternoon, you chop one. I don't know. What what do, what do you eat? Do you still eat bread? 99.3. Hello. Thanks for calling us. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. What do you think about bakers being on strike all over the country? 99.3. Hello. Yeah. This is Mike calling from Osafeja and Kuku. Welcome, Michael. Now, on that issue of bread, mm. before, I normally buy the bread of 350 naira. Mm. One or other meat and two million. But since this government has made me to realize their importance, I'm left buying Milo, left buying Olandia. In other less case, they call three in one. Eh. 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 That guy of 50 50 naira. Eh. 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 <laughs> that one has supplemented the bread for me. Okay. At times, I would not buy half of 50 50 naira. Eh. Just use it. Eh. And I have savings. Okay. And I minimize my cost. Okay. In order to maximize my economic benefit. Okay. I wish this government will continue for another four years. I will like it. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much for calling. The government is making you cut your coat according to your size. 99.3. Hello. <laughs> Auntie Sandra. Sam, what's your name? Ah, finally, you speak, Michael. When I have a lot of uh, talk to discuss for over one, two hours. Oh, now. But anyway, sorry. let me. But now, the guy. If you permit, I'll, I'll discuss more about things because of other people. I'll discuss about only this bread uh-huh. matter. Just talk about this bread matter. That's, that's the latest now. Yeah, that's the latest. So, uh, so to me, uh, my name is uh, Augustine Ode, a.k.a. The Gallant, calling from Lekki. Okay, welcome. Okay. See, these uh, bread people, they are Joe Kazo. Ah. Uh, seriously, because I'm not sure if they have somebody among them that is economy. Ah. You understand? Mm. When you have your product that you sell, and if you have the advantage of increasing that product at any time without anybody questioning you, mm. you understand? Mm-hmm. You now went ahead now to say, I want to go on strike. Strike for uh, for who now? You expect the government to... to uh, Say, government, are they the one that selling cement, flour, sugar, and every other thing? So the, the, the inflation that made everything to increase in the market. Mm. So obviously, if they want to, like now, they have, they have had the advantage of, they've increased, like, if you see the bread now, mm. the bread of uh, one we are buying for 500 now, now it was 200 naira before. So they have, they have even increased their own price. Mm. Then they now reduce the quality of the bread. It tastes now, that some bread you buy, mm. it will taste like ordinary cassava. Mm. Because for them to even put enough sugar, uh, butter, and the rest. Because sugar is expensive difficult. now. It's very difficult for them. It's expensive. Every other thing is also expensive in the market, not mm. only bread now. Uh, no, but, but, when, but when we had um, when we had the um, the master baker in, on, on the show with us two weeks ago, he told us that the reason that sugar is expensive for them is because they don't have a lot of people importing sugar. It's only a few people importing sugar. And so it makes the, the price of sugar expensive expensive in the market so that one government feed do something government feed uh, uh liberalize that particular market they also said that they are paying 15 percent duty on imports for wheat and that it's too high that they want that one to come down that one too government can do something about it you understand okay. that's why they're uh, engaging if, government okay. mm. if that be the case if they increase the price they can still increase the price we will still be buying it now like now the bread of uh, 250 before now is 500. We are still buying it. We don't. Com- we are supposed to be the one who to complain, but now we are not complaining. Mm. They are not be the one to be complaining. 
Like you see the taste of the bread. The, if you carry bread, bread five for them there and nine in your hand, mm. you I think even they like five year old you finish it. And we are not complaining. So mm. I don't know why they are taking it personal as if they are the only one uh, product in the market that that, that, that has is, increased. That is, that so, increased. So, okay, all right, Augustine. We've got Daniel in a jar on the line. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, Sandra, sir, how is it now? How is work? We did do the push up. You, you, safe. Are you eating? Are you, are you, are you buying bread? No, no, are you eating bread? no, I'm not eating again. It's so expensive. <laughs> you know, you, you see, there is something in this country, no sector is working. In fact, when the bread people, association of bread, or I don't know their name, but when mm. they say they are going to go on strike, mm. it, it, I, I was not surprised. Okay, let me tell you something. What few days ago. Mm. There is a place I usually buy bread from, one particular small kind of mini supermarket. The okay. same bread I, I usually buy for 500 okay. The price increased to $650. Okay. From $650, uh, two days ago, I wanted to buy bread. They now told me it's 800 naira. Do you know what I told that lady? What? I told her I'm not buying, I'm not buying this bread again. I'm going to jump out. Because it is... In fact, every everybody is going on strike. As is on strike, bread is on strike, everything is on strike. If, if, very soon, I'm sure, even to urinate and to pee, people will be going on strike for it. I'm <laughs> telling you, it, it, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Daniel Inaja, thank you very much for calling us. Daniel says even to urinate a, a poop, you go on strike. Um, you know, but um, the reason they're going on strike is they don't want the bread to be too expensive because if it, if it's too expensive. Um, the the poorer uh, Nigerians won't be able to afford it. And, you know, bakers are businessmen and businesswomen, you know. They have to make a profit. But right now, they're unable to make a profit while keeping the bread cheap enough for you, while paying their staff salaries and buying diesel for their generators. You know, all of these things would not be a problem if Nigeria had electricity. If we had power, if we had electricity, it will not be a problem. But the baker has to buy 850 naira a litre diesel. And the cost of diesel is not the baker's fault. It's not Nigeria's government's fault. It's Russia and Ukraine war's fault. It's somehow, somehow, it's also Nigeria's government's fault because, you know, we for years and years, when we could have sorted our refinery situation out, we didn't. So now we have to um, import refined um, products, you know. But... We are there now, which means that we like a, 